Hello and welcome back to Animated Literacy. This is Lesson 13 from the Story, Song, and Action book. In Lesson 12, we learned about Felix Fox and Max the Ox, and we learned the sound that they make where you put up your hands, take in a big, great big deep breath and relax by going Kss. Today we'll be taking that sound and putting it to use in a drawing that incorporates that sound along with previous sounds. If you're keeping up on your chart now, um, we're gradually changing our black and white pictures to color. So we've learned Polly Panda. Yesterday we learned Felix Fox and Max the Ox. So that's now been changed into a color picture. And we can start to use it along with our other sounds. Before we do that, let's go back to some of our playing with names. So here was Oscar. So Oscar stand up and we'll sing Oscar's verse. And remember, Oscar is at the doctor's. So, are you at the doctor's? Are you at the doctor's? Sister Oscar, whoops, what's the matter? Oscar's a boy, so he has to be what? A brother. Are you at the doctor's? Are you at the doctor's? Brother Oscar, brother Oscar. Oscar's bells are saying, Oscar's bells are saying, ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Now we started to put up a second chart of animals and objects that make sounds. And so, so far we have done bells that go ding dong. We have pups that go bark bark. We have rats that go squeak squeak. And today I added cats that go meow meow. So now you're gonna have to listen carefully to see which of those animals I'm naming to know which sound to play with. So here's Ernie, and Ernie's turning his scooter. Are you turning? Are you turning, sister? Oops, what's the matter? A brother, all right. Are you turning? Are you turning? Brother Ernie, brother Ernie. Ernie's cats are saying, Ernie's cats are saying, er, 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 er. Er. Ernie's pups are saying er, er, er. What kind of sound is that? Vowel. So why do we not change it? Because vowels are like the cheese. They stand alone. So here's Mary. So Mary stands up and Mary's name starts like Mimi Mermaid with her magic mop. So everybody get your magic mop out. Move it back and forth. Are you moving a magic mop? Are you moving a magic mop? Brother... Sister Mary, Sister Mary, Mary's bells are saying, Mary's bells are saying, Ming Mong, Ming, Ming Mong, Ming, consonant. How did you know that Mary's sound is a consonant? Because it has a partner, it has ings and ongs. Now we can start to move from our names to some other sounds. And so I have my whole stack of cards here of all of the different sounds that we're learning. And I'm going to keep mixing them up so that each day we get different sounds. So what's going to happen is students that are at very high literacy levels won't be being held back waiting to learn their sounds. They'll pick up the sounds and the letters very quickly from this activity and move on to reading books early. Students who are at a early, an earlier stage of literacy will have exposure to those sounds so that when we come to the character and we provide a richer context through the use of their complete story and song, they'll be able to pick it up much easier because they've heard it in this activity. So here's Winky Walrus and Winky Walrus is washing his whiskers at the wishing well. So put your hands up next to your face, wash your face like this and go, what? Or if you like, because he's at a wishing well, he's wishing. So you could do it like this for wishing. Or if you want to do both, you can go, are you wishing and washing? Are you wishing and washing? Winky walrus, winky walrus. Winky's rats are saying, Winky's rats are saying, wink, 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 weak, 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 not wink, but weak, 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 okay? Um, let's 
work on another one here. Now here's Eve, and I'm not sure if we've done her before, but you can see here she's leaping over three green trees. So you can hold your three fingers out like this to represent the three trees. And as you're leaping over them, she's going to be real excited and going, Wee! Or we can take the w off the front of that and just go, Eee! And if you can do it in a tall, high, squeaky voice, try that and go, Eee! I can't get up there, but I'll bet you can go a lot higher than I can. Are you leaping? Are you leaping? Sister Eve, Sister Eve, Eve's bells are saying, Eve's bells are saying, E, 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 E. Vowel. How do you know that? Because Eve didn't have any ings or ongs or, or meows or any other sounds. It, the, it's like the cheese. It just stood alone. Here's Hippy Hippo, and Hippy Hippo has a harmonica. And so he's holding his harmonica up like this, and he's humming hot air into his harmonica. So his verse sounds like this. And when your hot air is going through, you can just go like that, and you can kind of hear that air going through your hands. Uh, is your harmonica hot? Is your harmonica hot? Hippy Hippo, Hippy Hippo. Hippies pups are saying, hippies pups are saying, hark, 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 hark. Remember, each time we do these, you need to use your muscles. So we're learning to be strong readers and we're incorporating that muscle memory system. Here's Gilda Goose and she's gliding. So put your hands out like this and pretend that they're wings and go gliding and go g for her sound. Are you gliding? Are you gliding? Gilda Goose, Gilda Goose. Gilda's rats are saying, Gilda's rats are saying, geek, 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 geek. Gilda's cats are saying, geow, geow, geow. Gilda's pups are saying, gark, gark, gark. Gilda's bells are saying, ging, gong. Ging, ging, gong, ging. So each day we can practice some different sounds there. And pretty soon we'll have all those sounds down so that we have learned them. Now each time we've learned a new sound, that goes up on a third chart. So we have one chart up on the wall of our characters. And that starts out black and white. And it's changing the color each time we get a new character. We have a second chart that we gradually keep adding different animals and objects that make noise so we have more ways to play with sounds. And then we have a third chart so that every time we learn to draw and label a new object, it goes up on that chart. And we can use this chart to practice our sounds this way. Everybody look at the word up. Show me the sounds you hear in up. Up. So we're painting up to, to uh, we're pointing up to Uncle Upton. And then we're painting. So what's his, what are the sounds in up? Up. And how can we spell those sounds? P-U-P. -P. Here's mom. What are the sounds in mom? M mom. And what are the letters in mom? M-O-M. -M. And we drew a picture of a pup. What are the sounds in pup? P up. And what letters do we use to spell that? P-U-P. -P. And we did a pop, so let's practice the sounds in pop. Pop. Again, pop. And what are the letters in pop? P-O-P. -P. And then we did a mop. What are the sounds in mop? M mop. And how do we spell those sounds? M-O-P. So we're learning to read more and more words all the time. In our lesson, our last lesson, we learned about a tall tale about Paul Bunyan. And Paul Bunyan had a helper. And what was Paul Bunyan's helper? Babe the Blue Ox. So today we're going to be drawing a picture of an ox like was helping out Paul Bunyan. So let's all get our paper out and take out our pens 
or I'll pass out our pens and we're going to practice waiting. So hold your pen up in the air. Don't take the cap off yet. And on the count of three, we're going to all take the cap off. One, two, three. Turn our pen around and on the count of three, put it on the other end. One, two, three. And show me when you're ready to draw our eyes for our ox. So let's start over here and let's everybody put one circle for an eye and a second circle for an eye. Show me when you're ready for pupils. Now we can decide where we want our ox looking and you can put the dots for the pupils at the bottom or the top or wherever you like. Show me when you're ready for the cheeks. So our ox has one cheek going from this side down a little ways, another cheek going down here. Show me when you're ready for the scalp, the top of his head. Let's go up over the top like this. Show me when you're ready for the ox's mouth. I like the way your pens are up. Let's make a curve this way. And then come down and make another curve this way. Show me when you're ready for the nostrils. And that's the little holes in your nose that you breathe through. So we're going to put one, two nostrils with small circles. Show me when you're ready for the ox's ears. We're going to come out next to this eye with a curve line and next to this eye with a curve line. Show me when you're ready for the ox's horns. I'm going to come up this way with a curve and back down and up this way with a curve and back down. Show me when you are ready for the ox's tummy. Let's start from down here next to the mouth and make a line going out this way. Show me when you're ready for the ox's back. Now we're going to start from this here, go way over the top into there. Show me when you're ready for the ox's rear. We can go up here. Now show me when you're ready for the ox's legs. Let's make a front leg right down here with a rectangle that goes there and up. And then we're going to give him a hoof with a line and a line coming up. Then we'll come here for a back leg, come down again, make a rectangle. Then we're going to make a hoof for that one. Now his legs are all the same length, but because the front, these legs are closer to us, they look longer. So we're going to make the other legs look a little bit shorter, but they're actually not shorter they're the same length so we'll make one there we'll come here and we'll make another one there what part is left to make for our ox our ox needs a tail so let's come over here and make a curve going this way a curve going this way and down at the end of the tail is kind of like a tassel so we'll come out to a point and up like that and now we have our picture of our ox. Show me the first sound you hear in ox. Everybody go, ox, ox. What's that first sound? Ah. And how do we spell it most of the time? With an O, so let's put an O here. Show me the last sound you hear in ox. Ox, ox. Put your hands up and let's drop down and go ox for relaxing. And how do we spell that? With an X. So we've got a diagonal line going this way, crossing it with another diagonal line. And there's our word ox. Today, let's label another part of our ox. Um, I'm going to put an A by putting a circle and then putting a line next to it. And this sound takes two letters to spell it instead of one. So I'm going to put an I with a little dot. And AI spells the sound for Abe skating to the bay. Now here's a wheel of a skate. So put out your wheel. Put yourself on top of it. And as you go down the hill, I want you to go A. Now the last sound has just a tall straight line for an L. An L is the sound for Lizzie Lamb. So here's Lizzie Lamb laying on her lemon leaves, and I think we've practiced her a little bit. So everybody go, 
Oh, now we're going to put those two sounds together to see how this word ends. Ready? Go. Ale. Again. Ale. Now look at your picture. See if you can find something in your picture that ends with ale. Oh, a tail does. What do you hear at the front? T for tickling terrible Tom's tummy. So we're going to make a straight line down. Cross it with a straight line. And that word says tail. Now we won't put that one up on our chart. Um, we'll put ox up on our chart because that's our main word today. But if you also learn the word tail, um, that's kind of a bonus. Okay, so now once we've drawn our picture, we have to do something with our picture. So this is where we can use some of our songs. And this is a book that we made with a song that we did together. And in this one, it's I Caught a Fish Alive. So let's practice a couple of the verses. And this was a book that I made with some of my kids a few years ago. And they each got to choose what they wanted to catch. And so this was Kimberly's page. And she has one, two, three, four, five. Sing that back to me. One, two, three, four, five. And she chose to... Um, I'm sorry, let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And what did she put here? She chose to catch a pup. I caught a pup alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I let it go again. Here's another page. And this child chose to do an ox. So what does their verse sound like? One, two, three, four, five. I caught a fox alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I let it go again. Let's do one more. Or let me let me just look here for a minute and see if I can find one that shows our picture from today. I think we have one in here. Now here's a picture, and Samantha drew a picture of an ox. So let's do Samantha's verse. One, two, three, four, five. I caught, and we had to add an N there to A. I caught an ox alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I let it go again. Now another song we learned how to change words in was Skip to My Lou. So here are some verses that my kids did a few years ago. This one goes, I lost my top. And here's a picture of a top. And in one of our lessons later, we'll be learning to draw a top just like that. Lost my top. What'll I do? Skip to my loo, my darling. Look, look, look for my top. This one, we have, all, have already drawn a picture of a pop. So you should be able to read that because that's one of our words. Lost my pop. What will I do? Skip to my loo, my darling. And here's a picture of Pop playing hide and seek. And here he is hiding in his box. And this one says, Pop hides. So we can put ox into that and go, Lost my ox, what'll I do? Skip to my loo, my darling. Today we're going to learn a third song where we can start to change some of the words. And this song is going to have a box in it. And we've already drawn a picture of a box. Here we had mom playing hide and seek. And here's mom hiding in a box. And this one says mom hides. This one we didn't do a box. Instead, we decided to rhyme with it. So here we have a pup in a cup. And this says pup hides. And then the one that we just did, we have Pop hiding in a box, and it says Pop hides. So today we're going to have another picture, and we're going to do a box again. And this is a kind of a fun book from Skybrary about hiding. And these two characters found a great big box that had fallen out in the middle of the road. And one says, wow, look at that box. We just found it, so it's ours. But the other one says, no, that box doesn't belong to us. Just because you find something 
doesn't mean it's yours. And so they have to talk about that and decide, do I keep something when I find it or do I try to find the owner who lost it? So if you read that book, you can see th how they decided what to do. Now this is a song that starts out with a box and it's called A Hunting We Will Go. So just like in our earlier song, we'll, one, two, three, four, five, I caught a fish alive. Well, what are you going to do with that fish when you catch it? Where are you going to put it? This song tells us where we can put it. So this goes like this. And if you sing it back to me, this one goes, Oh, a hunting we will go. Oh, a hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. And this child's catching a fox. We'll catch a fox. Put him in a box. And then we'll let him go. Then we had another one here. And this child decided to catch a bug. So their verse goes, Oh, a hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. We'll catch a bug. And then we needed to rhyme with bug. What can you think of that rhymes with bug? He drew a picture of a jug. And put him in a jug. And then we'll let him go. We have... A recording of that song with some different words so let's take a look at the things that we can catch so this one in the first verse we're going to catch a fox and we're going to put our fox in a box then here we're going to catch a rat we're going to put our rat in a hat and then here we're going to catch a pup and we're going to put put our pup in a cup so let's see what that sounds like on a recording Hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a fox, put him in a box, and then we'll let him go. A hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a rat, put him in a hat, and then we'll let him go. So what are we going to do here? Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a pup, put him in a cup, and then we'll let him go. Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch a hare, put him in a chair, and then we'll let him go. Okay, so now we're going to draw a picture together. And here, here's our frame for a hunting we will go. So we're going to turn our frame over on the back. And we're going to use our new drawing from today and we'll put our ox inside a box so if you have room on your paper you can um, or let's see we're gonna get we're gonna give you a new paper because we're gonna draw on the back of a hunting we will go so now I've got a clean paper and we're going to use the same steps to start out with that we did when we drew our picture of our ox. So show me when you're ready for eyes. Let's make a circle here and another circle. And go ahead and add your pupils to your circle. Now if you remember next we drew cheeks. So let's come down for a cheek, down for a cheek. Then we did our scalp. So go over the top for your scalp. Show me when you're ready for the mouth. Remember we drew a curve for the mouth and then a curve here. Now the nostrils, so the holes in the nose. So we did a circle here and a circle here. Show me when you're ready for ears. Remember we came out to the side with an ear. We came out to this side with an ear. And what, do we, what did we do next? We did horns next, okay. So there was a horn. And there's a horn. Now we're going to figure out how we're going to put this ox in a box. So let's come out a little ways from here and a little ways from here. So we have two short lines coming out. Now a, an ox doesn't have fingers. Instead they have a hoof. So we're going to come down over like this in a line in the middle. Down, over, up 
and a line in the middle and then we'll make a line out and a line out to the side. Now for the sides of the box we're going to come straight down straight down put a line across the bottom and now here we forgot to give his legs so let's come back over here for his legs so now it kind of looks like he's looking out over the top of that box now just like we did before let's come let's angle up a little bit on each side make a line that's parallel to this line coming up make a line that's parallel to this line coming over and then another line like this so now we have an ox in a box so we could write Ah, or O, X. And I'm going to write an H with a straight line down and a curve, an I with a straight line and a dot, a D with a circle and a line down, an E with a straight line up and over, and an S. And put a period on the end because that's a sentence. Now my sentence says, Ox hides. And you can go ahead and label the ox in the box. And then if we turn our page here, we could write, Oh, a hunting we will go, a hunting we will go. We'll catch an ox, put him in a box, and then we'll let him go. So we can finish our page and draw a picture up here at the top. So that was a little bit fast, but you can go back and watch again and follow along with me or, or with your parent and practice high putting an ox in a box. Thank you very much for joining me for this lesson and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.